there was this strong idea in my head. Before I even put the first sketch on paper, I had this vision of the car. I started my first sketches, did the proposals, a couple of views, presented, got selected for model. We were competing with each other for a couple of months and bit by bit along the way my model remained as a contender. And it was like more than a year after that the model was found road graphics that make it look powerful and confident at the same time. It's showing how strong the Quattro blisters are on this car. They really are part of the volume. It's something that grows out of the body like real muscle. That gives the car a really strong three-dimensional feel and a very athletic stance. We have the single frame grille, but that has a new proportion, so it's the really low and wide honeycomb grille. We have deliberately squeezed it in this direction to give it a new presence. In Design team Matthijs. The next generation A5 is a complete new car. It is the first model based on Audi's new pre- Makes it look planted and looks really progressive together with the rear tail light band. Coming down to the diffuser, we have a really sculpted S-specific diffuser that looks high quality and also contains genuine tailpipes. Lighting is a really important aspect of our design. The Audi A5 and S5 feature new digital lighting technologies, such as the digital OLED rear lights with a full-width LED light stripe. With the active digital light signature, the car magically comes alive. You can see how it starts breathing digitally. We call it aesthetics in motion, and it's our way to show Vorsprung durch Technik. Correct, Jakob. With Matrix LED headlights and the next generation digital OLED taillights, the new A5 enables communication light that communicates with other cars for instance in warning situations. Coming from exterior, let us now have a closer look into the interior. Who could better do this than Matthijs? Thank you, Luisa. Our new interior design philosophy becomes visible inside of the car. Let's take a look together. Okay. It's fantastic. Further highlights are an offer. A new generation head-up display with a 85% bigger field of view and four more functions that you can configure it individually. And not to forget our new Audi assistant that brings voice control to the next level. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Hey Audi, bring us to the Frankfurt Airport. Frankfurt International Airport in Frankfurt. I'll start route guidance. I have one more thing. Let's get out of the car for this. Besides the A5 around here in the S version, we would like to present another derivative within the new A5 family. We have brought a A5 sedan as edition one. It will be available for market start with an exclusive exterior color and exclusive exterior parts. Therefore, I'd like to hand over again to Jakob. Yeah, absolutely, Luisa. The sedan is my absolute highlight of the A5 family with this long stretched roof bow, the really fast C-post, very short deck lid, and despite the really coupe-shaped silhouette, it offers high functionality due to this big tailgate, so blending function with style. Good job, Jakob. Absolutely in love with these models. I'm really looking forward to bringing them on the road. Audi has officially launched the new generation A5, which now becomes the direct successor of the old A4. The new model receives three engines, including a diesel that integrates mild hybrid technology. The A5, previously the preserve of style forward coupes, is now Audi's gas sedan, or liftback, for the world's middle managers. Why is the A4 gone? Well, it isn't quite dead. Audi's even-numbered cars will be electric and its odd-numbered cars will still use squished-up dinosaurs to get around. The new Audi A5 gets a completely new design compared to the old A4, which now brings a more rounded body and much larger proportions. The front is dominated by the new, much larger single-frame grille, 
with a three-dimensional honeycomb structure. Also up front we also have new, larger and more curved headlights with digital LED technology and customizable light signatures available as an option. The sides are characterized by predominantly smooth surfaces and a curved shape of the roof reminiscent of Audi models from the early 2000s. Even the doors now receive new, flap-type handles instead of knob-type ones. As is evident, the new Audi A5 is larger than its predecessor in size and also gets a longer wheelbase. For now, Audi has not revealed the dimensions of the new model. An interesting thing here is the opening of the trunk door in the case of the sedan variant. This for the trunk opens like a liftback, complete with rear window. Below we can also see an aerodynamic diffuser, as well as the two exhausts for a touch of sportiness. The rear is characterized by taillights with OLED technology and joined by a strip. Lat the time of launch, the new Audi A5 is available with three engines, two petrol and one mild hybrid diesel. The smallest engine in the range is a 2.0-liter TFSI unit that develops 150 horsepower. As with any new car, the A5 and S5 have plenty of toys. The optional passenger screen lets the co-pilot fiddle with the navigation or watch streamed content while on the move. Don't worry, it does have a special coating so that the driver can't see the screen. Tick the right boxes and you can have a Bang & Olufsen sound system that puts speakers in the headrests. Not only that, but they're dual zone, so a passenger can listen to music, watch films, or do. The second gasoline engine develops more power, to be exact, 204 horsepower. The 150 horsepower version is only available with front-wheel drive, while the more powerful version can also have all-wheel drive. Moreover, both engines are coupled to a dual-clutch automatic transmission. The star in this chapter, however, is the 2.0 TDI diesel engine with mild hybrid technology. This engine delivers 204 horsepower and 400 newton meters, and the 48 volt mild hybrid system delivers an extra 24 horsepower. With the help of the mild hybrid system, starting from a standstill is done in electric mode. As with the petrol engines, the mild hybrid diesel engine also gets a dual clutch automatic gearbox and sends power to the front wheels, or to all wheels if the Quattro Ultra all wheel drive system is ticked. Third on the list is, material-driven design, a nod to the sense of space and comfort it offers. Finally, there's, visual clarity, or the easy-to-use layout of the cabin. The new Audi A5 also gets a revised suspension, and a unit with adaptive dampers is available as an option. The German manufacturer also says that the steering of the new A5 is much more precise than the old A4. The new Audi A5 also gets a completely new interior, which now offers more space and more advanced technology. The first thing that stands out is the new panoramic Audi MMI screen, which is curved and integrates OLED technology. Here we have a digital instrument panel of 11.9 inches, a central screen of 14.5 inches, but also a separate screen for the front passenger, with a diagonal of 10.9 inches, there is also a configurable head-up display. For the first time, drivers will be able to control the car's functions and multimedia system menus through the head-up display. Also here we also have a dynamic and interactive ambient lighting system, depending on the gestures of the occupants. On the German market, the new Audi A5 will have a starting price of €45,200. Orders will open from this month, and you get navigation, a power opening boot and a wireless phone charging tray is standard. Paired to those more potent engines, Audi says it's done extensive detail work on the A5 and S5's suspension and steering. You'll be able to spec adaptive dampers that'll allow you to adjust your ride as you see fit. In the US, the A5 and S5 will be available in a single sedan body style. Outside the US there will be an Avant wagon version of each, but there are no plans for a coupe or a convertible. It's the first of many cars to use Audi's shiny new premium platform combustion architecture, which is set up for front or all-wheel drive, as well as S.